Hi, it's Chester Togwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to be counting and summing based on color, the background color of a cell. Now, we're going to use a function called get.cell to achieve this. Get.cell. Uh, now, get.cell can't be used within a worksheet in the normal way. You have to, have to actually use the name manager to use this. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how it works. First of all, I'm going to click into the cell that I want to put the formula into. And then I go up to the formulas tab on my ribbon, and then I go to the name manager. And I'm gonna create a new named reference. So I'm gonna give this formula that I'm going to create a name, so I'm gonna call it cell color. And then down here, I write my formula in. So it'll be get, dot cell open bracket and there are two arguments here the first argument is the index number for the information you want to extract and it's 38 for the cell color if you go online you'll find what the other numbers will extract from a cell comma and then you have to say the cell that you extract the information from so that's one cell to the left in this example or b2 I'm going to get rid of the dollars and I'm going to do that by continuing to press F4 until all the dollars disappear from that little formula. And I'll close the bracket there and then I click on OK. Click on Close. And then I'm going to write in that named reference equals cell color. Press Enter. And there we are. So six is obviously a kind of index number for that color, the yellow. And if I copy it down, see seven is 40, green is 50. So you can probably see where I'm gonna go with this. I can use the COUNTIF function now. And the first argument in the COUNTIF function is range. So that would be the range of numbers that I've extracted from these colors. And then the criteria, well, what I could do because I'm looking for the green and counting how many times the green color appears, is I could write in 50 and that would work quite nicely. There are two occurrences of green. Another trick you can do is to actually use that name again, cell color, and you'll see that what that's doing is actually referring to that cell there. It's picking out the number for that color there as the, as the criteria. And if you remember, when we set up this formula in the first place, we refer to one cell to the left. So that's exactly what it's doing here. It's referring one cell to the left to extract the number for that color. Now, before I copy this down, I do need to fix that reference. Copy down and you can see this works quite nicely. Five yellows and three salmon cells. Now I can use some if in the same way. So I'm going to say, this is my range of cells that I'm going to apply the criteria to. And I'm going to use cell color as my criteria. So that will pick out the number of that color. And then my sum range are these values over here, which I also need to fix. And then I can copy that down. Okay, so you can see it works quite nicely. Now for the downsides, I'm afraid. Well, the first point may not be a downside, but you do need to save your file as a macro enabled workbook, not as a normal Excel workbook. And you can do that uh, by going to file, save as, and when you save, you need to save as a macro enabled workbook. Even though we haven't used VBA, it's a fact that if you're using get.cell, you're gonna have to do that. The other downside, and this may be a deal breaker, is that, for example, if I change this to a different color, say I change it to the green, now it's not automatically updated that. You can see it's still the old color and I have to basically copy the formula down again in order to do the recalculation. I haven't found a way around that, I'm afraid. Uh, and the other thing is, is that it won't work with conditional formatting um, because conditional formatting doesn't apply color quite in the same way. But 
bearing in mind all those disadvantages, you still have a solution that may be quite useful for you. Okay, so thanks very much for listening and hopefully that's been helpful.